Uh. <laughs> Hi. Can you guys hear me okay? Hey. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure that everything's working okay. Yes, perfect. Okay, good. <laughs> All right, there's no there's no scuff right now. That's kind of what I wanted. <laughs> well, thank you. You guys are very, very sweet. <laughs> you guys are... <laughs> I My headache has kind of settled down. I took some Tylenol. And uh, I had a little bit of a rest. Because I did want to do the stream. But I'm like, maybe I'll just bump it back an hour just to make sure everything's, everything's okay and I feel alright. Oh, thank you. You guys are very sweet. Foamy, I see your request for ki kisses. <sighs> I will get to your kisses. <laughs> Just a reminder, there's the menu there for everybody. Five gifted subs or a thousand bits gets you three minutes of something, whatever you want from that menu. So, uh, phrasing. I said what I said, okay? <sighs> okay. Uh, foamy. This is your kisses. Solon said. So yeah, the VOD should work this time, you guys. if you hear the dog barking in the background too. 
Uh, all right. I see we have a bit of a cute belt up here. So, let's see who's next. Oh. You thought that was one of your dogs? No, that's my dog. That's Evie. She was like, burp, burp, burp. <laughs> She's borking downstairs. <laughs> All right, I think Moonflower is next. Moonflower. Mm. You're such a good pet for mommy. Oh, you're so pretty. My good pet. Oh, Moonflower. You're all mine. My little good pet. <laughs> oh, look at you. You're so gorgeous. My good little pet. Oh, you're so cute, my sweetheart. You're all mine. You belong to me. My good pet. <laughs> I hope that was good for you. You've melted. Wow. That's what I want to hear. And thank you guys for the hype train, too. I sincerely appreciate it. <laughs> oh, all right. I think Virus, you're next. You wanted kisses, too, didn't you? Mm. Well, get ready. I'm about to make you melt, my darling. These are amazing. That's what I love to hear, my darling. you squirm for me. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> there. Do you feel better, my darling? <laughs> I hope you enjoyed my kisses. Mm. <laughs> oh, you're very welcome. <laughs> You made a bestiary sheep for me for Pathfinder? I'm gonna have to go check that out. Because that sounds like a lot of fun and I'm a big old nerd. <laughs> thank you so much. I really appreciate that. And Ken, thank you so much for seven months. Mmm. Innocent bystander. I see. You want me to tell you that I love you. Hmm. I'll gladly do that. Are you ready, my love? <laughs> oh, innocent bystander. I love you. I love you so much. Mm. <gasps> Meeting you made me feel so happy. I love you. Seeing you in my streams just makes me smile so wide. I love you so much. I love you, innocent bystander. You make me so very happy. I love you, my darling. You're absolutely perfect the way that you are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> are you okay? Or have you joined the collective bucket? <laughs> Part of the bucket. Part of the crew. <laughs> well, thank you, God King Pool. Thank you for the biddies. I appreciate that. Part of the bucket, part of the crew. <laughs> you guys are very cute. <sighs> she killed him, damn. Can't believe we just watched Max kill somebody on live stream. I'll gladly make you all melt, though. <laughs> Bubbles from the bucket. You all are very, very, very cute. I love doing this kind of thing for you guys. Because I want you to feel good. And I want you to know that I care about you very, very much. <laughs> yeah, you're cute. You're mine. You're all mine. Did you know that? You belong to me now. You're my sacrifices. And you're not going anywhere. Because you belong to me. You're my perfect little playthings. And I absolutely love to tease you and get your reactions. They make me smile and giggle. <laughs> yeah, you are stuck. You're stuck in a bucket. <laughs> it's okay. Listen, I realize that Maybe I'm not for everyone, and that's perfectly okay. But I'll always try. And besides, it's not like you're going anywhere. I'm going to wrap my tail around you and squeeze you so tightly against my body. You can squirm if you want. You can try to fight back. But trust me, you're not going anywhere. <laughs> I could inject you with my venom, I could. But you know that when I bite people, it's more like an aphrodisiac, right? You know that, 
right? So it's only going to make you want to stay and only make you more aroused. You can bite me. Oh, you want me to bite you, huh? Just give you a good old... <laughs> Packing the venom, of course I am. I'm an apophis. What do you want from me? I'm a very, very greedy goddess. And let me tell you, I want to keep every one of you. And claim you. I mean, I'll collar you too, if that's what you want. I'm a venomous constrictor, if it's true. I mean, have you seen the size of me? I'm quite large. I'm a big old snake. <laughs> we love the beautiful snake, Mommy. Well, you're very sweet, Obi-Wan. It's a very kind first message. A very big snake. But hey, I like big things, too. <laughs> Hair doctor, thank you so much for 18 months. You don't mind being my pet? Well, that just means you have to get on your knees. Do you mind getting on your knees for your new mistress? Hmm? <sighs> As I take my clawed fingertip and put it under your chin and force you to look up at me. Mm. And I lean in close and breathe hotly right into your ear. <sighs> and tell you that you're my perfect pet. Mm. I can't be on my knees. It's a colorful liquid bucket. <laughs> oh, look at you. All of you just want to be owned. Do you want to be owned by me, Chet? Hmm? Would you like to be mine? Perhaps. Mm. Well, thank you, Dad. That's very sweet of you. Yes. Good. Because if you had said no, that means that I would have been a very, very angry goddess. <laughs> I'm very, very excited, though, to meet some of you at WeebCon. <laughs> A seductive snoodle doodle. You know, that's the first time anyone has ever said that to me. And it's quite funny. <laughs> WeebCon. It's, uh, it's in Texas at the end of March. It's okay, and I'm sure there'll be other years you can come and see me. <laughs> I'm going to Avkai, too. It's, lots of people say, hear weed. It's weeb with a B. <laughs> so I totally understand Shadow. <laughs> Could you imagine then just show up at WeedCon? <laughs> hey, everybody, it's, uh... Your danger noodle here at WeedCon. No, I'm looking forward to it though. And then I can give you all nice big hugs. <laughs> and thank you guys for just being so supportive of me. Mm. Oh, screeching eagles. Can't wait to see me at Avkai. Oh, that's so sweet. I see you donated 1k bits. So what would you like from the menu? Since you did that, and that's very generous of you, you can pick something off the menu and I'll do it for you. What part of Texas? I believe it's kind of like the Dallas area. 
I think it's somewhere in there. It's grapevine, I think. There, that's what it is. Eagles want slicks. Oh, you want some lickies, huh? All right, Eagles. She'd like it if I leave marks too. Well, into my arms. Oh, just lay here and enjoy it, my love. Oh. Oh. Mm. What does the snake tongue do? Anything you want to do. Mm. Don't you want me to slurp you up? Make you feel so good with my tongue. <laughs> Aaron, thank you so much for 14 months, by the way. I, my day is going quite well. I appreciate you asking. <laughs> Ads incoming. If you turned up your volume up, you can turn it back down. <laughs> Get your bucket out. Oh, look, this is ads, so you have a moment of reprieve here before I assault you with my mouth again. <laughs> I'll give you a little bit of a break just this one time. Get extra naughty while the ads are on. Oh, um, let's see. I could. But that just means that 
there's always the risk of daddy to which <laughs> being like like sorry a tea sun eater you were a very bad girl your punishment is a one day ban <laughs> for making licking noises you were just too strong <laughs> Praise be Lord Zolon. <laughs> Chat bucket. Old Jack, it's good to see you too. Thank you so much for coming out to the stream. You don't need a bucket if you become one with the bucket. <laughs> you walked into ASMR, my darling. Right now, uh, we're just talking to Chat. Well, ads are rolling. Before we get into more fun stuff, because I have a couple scripts that I actually pulled up for you guys tonight. So I think I'm going to do those in a little bit, too. I think they're going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> Listening to this in the car with speakers is magical. You're not going to make it out alive. Most of you uh, really enjoy the ASMR, and I'm glad that you do. Yeah, I have some scripts I can read for you. <laughs> I hope you like dominant kind of characters. You guys wouldn't like dominant characters, would you? <laughs> no, certainly not me, right? <laughs> yes, please. ASMR is uh, meant to kind of relax you, or in some cases, put you into a certain mood, you know? And you have to kind of be in a certain mood for ASMR. And I realize that it's not everybody's cup of tea. But sometimes it's really fun. And I get to tease you. <laughs> Do you like it? When I run my lips across your ear and tell you just how much I love you. Mm. As I drag my fingertips down your chest and rake ever so lightly and leave some very sexy marks upon your body. Mm. I like marking. I think it's very hot. Mm. <laughs> oh, Lunars, thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. Lickies, if I can, after, after your script. Well, does that mean that you guys want a script now? Would you guys like me to read a script now for you guys? I have two. So we can, we can do one now. You want to do an early script? I want to know what you want, because I want to please all of you. Hmm? I want you to be so happy. I have two here. Let me see. One is called Accidentally Summoning a Succubus to Cuddle. Mm -hmm. And the other one is Sleep Demon Tempts You into Bed. 
So there's going to be a poll on what you guys want. <laughs> I'm glad that my ASMR is soothing. Prism, you sweetheart. Thank you for 26 months. It's a long time to be a part of Chaos and Tits, my darling. Can we get a shout out for the beautiful Prism? How is my baby? How are you, my lovely? Mm. I can't wait to see you and suckle on your horn again. You can't. What do you mean you can't? Don't you want me to wrap myself around you and drag my claws all over your beautiful body? My sweetheart, you know that you belong to me, don't you? You're all mine. And you're not going anywhere. No, no, no. I'm gonna put a pretty little collar around your neck. I fucked up my dance. Prism, I love you. And that's why I'm keeping you, because you're so sweet and you're so funny. And I think you're so beautiful. Mm. I can't wait to sink my fangs into you. <laughs> I love you. I love you so much, Prism. But what do you want from the menu? Mm? Pick something from the menu because you donated a thousand bits and you did not have to. So the menu is there for you to pick from, my darling. Pick something and it's all yours. I'm looking. No, you take your time. <laughs> I'm just waiting for chat to vote on the poll, so we'll read a script in a bit. Mm. Everybody's like, do the lickies, do the lickies, do the kissies. <laughs> you want ear cupping? Mm, okay. I know virus. You want lickies, but you said after the script, yes. Do you mind if I ear cup prism before we do the script? And then I'll do your lickies. If you're still here. <laughs> Why does your voice make my head go fuzzy? Well. <laughs> go ahead, she needs it. Okay. Prism, here's your ear cuppies.
there's your your cuppy's prism. I hope you enjoyed it, my sweetheart. <laughs> no, thank you so much. I'll do anything to make you happy and feel cozy and warm. You're so pretty, my precious girl. <laughs> I think, I think the succubus script one, you die. No, you can't die. If you do that, I'll just have to give you mouth to mouth. Like, <sighs> just like that. <laughs> Pretends to die. Oh no, it seems as though I've fallen and I'm, I can't breathe. It looks like I'm going to need mouth to mouth too. <laughs> King Titan, thank you very much for 14 months, by the way. I think that the script, that one was the succubus one, right? You volunteer. I'm sure you do. Mm. So I'm going to do the accidentally summoning a succubus if you give me a moment to just move some things around here <laughs> oh no I've accidentally summoned this beautiful succubus into my room whatever shall I do <clears throat> Are you ready, chat? So here's the summary. You were bored, and so you decided to read through a curious book you found a while ago. It has information on some supposed magic spells. But since you did not have anything better to do, you decided to try them out. There's no way this could possibly go wrong. Right? Right, chat. Mmm. <laughs> oh. Oh. At your behest, I have been summoned. I followed your voice from the depths of the abyss through the fiery plains of hell and tore through the fabric of time and space just to be at your side. Now, tell me, Master, what is it that you desire? What do you desire, Chad? <laughs> Who am I? Don't tell me I went to the wrong place. And after I did that embarrassing speech that they had us learn, too. <gasps> Suki. Yes, we are required to answer any summoning with that. Our new manager has a tendency to be overdramatic. I think she watched far too many movies in her days. So, are you sure you didn't summon a succubus? Yes. <laughs> A succubus, a last demon, a sex devil, whatever you want to call us. Mm. 
Do you always ask questions that were already answered? Mm-hmm. Oh, so you don't. That's a relief, at least. I don't think I would be able to handle a longer conversation with someone like that. But I can understand you being a bit overwhelmed at the moment. I did just appear in your room unannounced. And... Wait a minute. I recognize that smell. Is that incense? It is. Isn't it? <laughs> All these candles. And... <gasps> That tome. So you did perform a summoning ritual after all. Why are you acting so surprised then? Hmm? <laughs> you didn't actually expect it to work. That must be the dumbest excuse I've ever heard. No one makes a contract with a demon on accident. <laughs> we made sure of that. Too many complaints from those pesky angels. Yes. A contract. <laughs> when summoning a demon, you automatically enter a preliminary contract with it. Did you actually read any of those instructions in that book? Why not? Details like those are important when dealing with magic. Hmm. You... You only looked at the pictures. Oh, by the flames. Please give me the strength not to strangle this idiot. Has no one told you before that magic can be extremely dangerous if used incorrectly? Hmm? Well... If you didn't think magic was real, why did you even perform the ritual? <laughs> For fun. <sighs> I don't want to deal with this. Why do I always get the weird clients? Mm. Anyway, the fact of the matter is, you did summon me, and that you did enter a contract with me, and that contract needs to be fulfilled. It doesn't matter if you didn't know about it. That's why we have safeguards in place, as I said before. Safeguards that you so cleverly ignored. The angels complained so long about us tricking humans into contracts that we eventually gave in just to shut them up. Now you can only summon a demon if you do it with intent. In return... We kind of implemented a, uh, a no-return policy. So this? Oh, this is happening. Period. <laughs> you might think you didn't want to actually summon me. But the fact is... I am here, and the fact remains, 
But since I'm here, it tells me otherwise. Some part of you, deep inside, You have the kind of desire that only a succubus can satisfy. <laughs> so why don't you tell me, sweetheart? I really want to know. Please. Oh, you don't think you do? That's cute. Everyone has something they want. Something they hide deep away inside their soul. A desire so shameful to yourself that you could never share it with those around you. And that is what a succubi are here for. To fulfill exactly that desire. And all we want in return is some of your delicious life energy. <laughs> You still don't know what that is. Of course that is all right. You're not the first to have that problem. Looky here. This is a book all about the services and positions I can offer. Take a peek inside. It has very Vivid descriptions. <laughs> and pictures, of course. If you still have questions, I would be more than happy to demonstrate some of them. Or, if you're still not sure, I could take you on the grand tour as I like to call it. Mm. Some of the most popular acts among my best customers and a few personal favorites of mine. A chef's kiss special, so to speak. <laughs> oh, look at you. You got so red there, sweetheart. Are you okay? <laughs> this isn't too stimulating for you, is it? Mm. My eyes. What about them? Oh, you'll have to speak up. I can't understand if you mumble to yourself like that. What do you mean? They seem predatory all of a sudden. <laughs> well, that's just natural, isn't it? I want to devour you after all. And you being such a flustered mess just makes me want to ruin you even more. You just have to tell me what it is you want. Mm -hmm. Of course you can tell me that you don't want anything. But I'm taking your energy regardless, as per the contract that you signed. So it would be just a shame not to make use of the opportunity. Right.
<laughs> That's what I thought. So, sweetheart, what can I do for you? Hmm, how about this one? Oh, or that one, if you're feeling adventurous. If you can't do those with a human woman, you're far more flexible enough to pull it off. Only I could do this for you. Don't you want to see? <laughs> You just gotten more red. Be careful. If you keep reacting like that, I might become addicted to teasing you. A question? <gasps> of course. You can ask me anything. Mm. No, you're not limited to those options. I am open to everything you might want. If we need toys, I can summon almost anything. You need a collar, rope, a gag. <gasps> Don't tell me you need a whip. Oh. <gasps> oh. It's been so long since I had one used on me. Mm. Or used one on myself, if you're into that. <laughs> That's not it. I'm sorry. I kind of lost myself thinking there. Just about. Mm. You look like you thought of something. So... Why don't you tell me? What do you mean it's embarrassing? Don't worry about that. First of all, I've seen almost everything. So there's nothing that could shock me, my darling. Second, that is exactly what succubi are there for. The stuff you don't want to share with anyone. I am literally from another plane of existence. So anything you share with me won't ever see the light of day again. Is that what you humans say? Oh wait, I know. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Just replace Vegas with a succubus. <laughs> and coincidentally, the sentence still makes sense in another way, if you know what I mean. So, just tell me what you want me to do for you. Oh, that. Mm, that is. No, no, no. It's not weird. Not that. It's just... Well, I don't think anyone has ever summoned a succubus just to... Cuddle. <laughs> oh, of course I don't mean just cuddle. As if it was somehow less intimate than other stuff. I don't want to belittle your interests or anything. <laughs> Flustered. <laughs> Me? No. Never. Fulfilling mortal desires is literally my job. So how could I be embarrassed? I just want to make sure that you are not too flustered. Yes, yes. <laughs> Thanks for worrying about me, though. I'm fine. 
Really? I might be a lust demon, but I can feed on any kind of desire. The only difference is that sexual desire is much more intense. Like an explosion. Well, the kind of energy I would get from cuddling is more gentle. What it comes down to is that I would need to spend more time with you in order to eat my fill. <laughs> I thought you might like that. Come on, then. No need to beat around the bush. I assume you want to do this on the bed. Perfect. Let me lie down first. Oh. Your bed is so comfy. <gasps> I might never want to leave it again. Why are you looking at me like that? Don't you want to join me? <laughs> oh, don't be shy now. I tell you, it's okay to just give in to your desire with me. Now come. Come into my embrace and let yourself be pampered. That's what you wanted, right? Mm. There. That's more like it. You can lie down however you want. Facing me or letting me hug you from behind. Mm. What's the difference? I guess facing each other is more intimate, but spooning is a bit easier since you don't have to worry about what your face looks like. You can just do what you're most comfortable with. Mm. That sounds good. I thought you might like that position better. Now, let me wrap you up in my arms and pull you closer. Just like this. You snuggled into me so readily. You must be a pro at this. You're not. I can't believe that. So you're telling me that you're just naturally talented at being so comfy. This is outrageous. This is so unfair. <laughs> well, I'm being a bit dramatic, but also half serious. <laughs> but it really does feel nice to cuddle you. And it did help, didn't it? Do you feel more relaxed now? Mm. You can't deny that. <laughs> Glad that I could be of help, Swift. Actually, what do you want me to call you? Most people prefer something like master or mistress. But you were so cute. I couldn't help but switch to sweetheart. <laughs> sweetheart is fine. Good. Because you are such a sweetheart in my eyes. So it would be a little bit weird to call you something different. 
Now, since we're all bundled up on your bed, is there something you'd like to get off your chest, sweetheart? <laughs> Don't lie to me. I am a demon. I was born of human emotion, so I'm naturally perceptive when it comes to desires, feelings, burdens. And you carry so much with you. It's okay to talk about it, you know. Especially to me. Still don't know what I'm talking about, do you? That's fine. Then just listen to me talk to myself. Mm. A friend of mine once met a very nice person who was very flirty. I told my friend that they wanted to do something with them. Anything, really. Not something spicy, like you might think. But, my friend was too afraid to ask for the thing they really wanted. Now, this is just my speculation, but I think my friend just wasn't used to that much affection. Or the idea of intimacy itself. Perhaps because they didn't receive it enough. Or perhaps even because others around them made fun of them every time they were honest with their feelings. So they buried the desire deep inside of them, eventually convincing themselves that it was somehow shameful and that they didn't need it. <sighs> Does that sound familiar at all? I see. Mm. If you have big feelings right now, you can let them all out with me, you know. I won't judge. I won't tell. I won't stop cuddling you. It's even okay to cry. Being cuddled up together like this is a pretty intense situation already. And finally talking about your deepest feelings and desires after bottling them up for so long isn't going to make it any easier. Of course, it's okay not to cry. My point is, you don't need to force yourself to be anything right now. <laughs> Happy, sad, angry, or maybe you don't feel anything. Just go with the flow, and I will be here to take it. There you go. Shh. Yes. I'm here. No, no, it's okay. Don't apologize. <laughs> it's really no bother to me. Rather, with all these emotions flying through the room, uh, I'm getting to eat my fill like I haven't in a long time. So I don't mind you continuing as long as you need. Mm. What's this? Oh, you want to tell me something? Well, of course, sweetheart. Go right ahead. 
Mm. Oh. I see. I guess it makes sense that you would feel that way. But sweetheart. <laughs> Not to seem gaslighting or anything, but you're probably the only one who thinks that wanting to cuddle is something shameful. Everyone needs physical touch from time to time. <laughs> no, I don't think you're at fault at all. It's just that I think you've had some bad luck. How do I say this? I know you basically confirmed this after the little story I told about that imaginary friend of mine. But bear with me and interrupt me if I'm wrong, okay? If I had to guess. You probably didn't get many chances to be close with other people in the past. And so, you had no choice but to imagine what it would be like. You kept wishing for it, as anyone would. But over time, it became a much bigger deal in your mind than it actually is. And so, the barrier to be intimate with someone else also became much higher which prevented you from acting on your desire and kept you trapped in a vicious cycle. After all, whoever you choose for it naturally had to be a better choice than anyone you met in the past or else it would devalue all the time you spend holding yourself back. Oh. <laughs> So it does sound familiar to you. I thought so. Unfortunately, it's all too common a story. And even then, if you know about it, it's still almost impossible to break out of the cycle without someone to help you. Someone who... For example, literally pulls you into a bed and forces you to admit what you want. <laughs> no need to thank me, sweetheart. We already made a contract after all, and I'm receiving my due compensation. But still, I appreciate it. You really are so precious. Come here. <sighs> All of that isn't meant to say your point of view is not valid, of course. This innocence of yours is actually very endearing. All I'm saying is that most people would happily oblige if you asked them for a hug or even a cuddle. Affection goes both ways. <laughs> so it's not like you'll only receive something. You really needed to hear this, didn't you? <sighs> you seem to calm down quite a bit now. <laughs> At least you're not radiating raw emotions anymore. How are you feeling, my sweetheart? Mm. Exhausted. Well, that doesn't surprise me. Strong emotions are tiring by themselves. Mm. And now I was here to devour your energy on top of that. <laughs> Usually, this would be the point where I leave. 
but there's nothing in the rules that says I have to. Mm. So, would you mind if I stayed here a bit longer? Mm. Mm. I'm really enjoying this time we're having right now. <laughs> you don't. Let's <sighs> great to hear. Mm. Look at me now. I'm all sleepy. This is your fault with your adorable personality. Your perfect cuddle body. <laughs> Too tired to be flustered anymore, are you? Then, how about we get some sleep, just like this, embracing each other, my fingers tracing gentle patterns over your skin as I play with your hair. for trusting me so far, my sweetheart. Oh, it really means a lot that you've chosen to share this with me. Is there anything else you wanted to talk about? Oh. You're interested in my eating? What exactly is your question? <laughs> Don't worry about that. It's not dangerous. We're not vampires, after all. Those folks showed no restraint, and their blood-sucking is so unrefined. No, no. A succubus are more gentle. Much more gentle. It doesn't even work out. It doesn't even work without some form of consent in the first place. <laughs> it's kind of hard to explain to a mortal. If I told you every emotion has a tangible energy attached to it, would it make sense to you? Mm. Okay, okay. This energy is a part of you. Something like a combination of your stamina and mental endurance. Now, when a human displays or acts on a specific emotion, demons like me are able to devour that energy attached to it. And each demon is in turn associated with a certain emotion that they find especially satisfying. <laughs> a succubus or lust demon is associated with uh, pleasure. So, what we do is to seduce mortals or they have to summon us then we sleep with them and then collect the energy they release when they, well, release. Since that's the very intense experience, we can gather a lot of energy in a short time. And everyone walks away satisfied. It's truly the perfect arrangement, don't you think? <laughs> mm. Sweetheart, are you asleep already? <laughs> <sighs> no answer is also an answer. 
Sleep well. You earned it. I will try and still be here in the morning. But if I'm not, rest assured that I will come back. I really enjoyed this. I enjoyed you and your company. And hopefully you did too. Mine. I mean, I guess I just want to see where this goes. If it goes anywhere. Uh, mm. I'll stop now, in case you can still hear me after all. <laughs> Good night, sweetheart. And have nice dreams. <laughs> there you go. That was your role play. You're summoning a succubus role play. <laughs> I have a couple people to thank. <sighs> Celio, thank you so much for the raid if you're still here. I apologize I didn't get to it that quickly, but I was in the middle of a script. And if, for those of you who stuck around from Celio's raid, thank you so, so much. I appreciate you being here. <sighs> Uh, who else do I have to thank? Late, thank you so much for 21 months. I really appreciate it. Firebird, thank you for eight. Lockdown, thank you for seven. And Silva for nine. Snake Mommy, I forgot to tell you I'm pregnant. Oh, and I'm the father. Oh my gosh. You're having a sup, baby. We have to think of a name. <laughs> you want to name the baby Uriel? Uriel? That's kind of cute. Kitty Catherine, thank you so much for the raid, too. And Chief Gardener, thank you so much for the bits. Oh, You guys are very sweet. <laughs> that was a hell of a spicy script. I'm glad you enjoyed it. It was a bit of a longer script, but... You know what? Sometimes the longer ones are really nice, too. Because it gets you really kind of in the mood. <laughs> oh, and Virus, if you're still here, I'm gonna do your lickies now for three minutes. Are you here, my darling? <laughs> I'm gonna do the lickies now, so let me have a sip of water. Prepare yourself. <gasps> I saw him around just a few minutes ago. All right, well, hopefully they're still here so I can do the lickies for them. Thank you, Sinister.
Enjoyed your lickings. Uh, Was it good for you, virus? <laughs> well, thank you, DFW. I appreciate it. Thank you. And Ramoni, thank you so much for the new sub. I appreciate that. <laughs> Derek, I owe you a uh, one minute of an I love you. So if you're still here, I love you. <gasps> Look at you. You're absolutely perfect. I love you. <gasps> Oh, I don't think I could love anyone as much as I love you. Mm. You're positively wonderful. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Oh. Seeing you in my stream just makes me feel so good. I love you. Oh, you're my precious pet. I love you. <laughs> that's one minute for you. Love, that's lewd. Everybody deserves to be loved and feel love. That's my feelings on it. Mm. Raging Cooney, thank you so much for the new sub. <sighs> mm. I have it. Are you still here, my darling? Because I owe you a good pet. Mm. You haven't had that in a long time. Well, I hope you find it. <laughs> mm. I have X. <laughs> You're such a good pet. <sighs> Would you like to be collared by me, my darling? My good little pet. Look at you, so sweet looking, my good pet. I bet you would love it if I wrapped myself around you with my snake tail, my good pet. Oh. You're all mine, my good pet. <laughs> oh, my darling good pet. You're never going anywhere. 
you belong to me, my good pet. <laughs> oh, there you go. I have it. I hope you enjoyed that if you're still here. And if you're not, there's always the bond to... I'm going to take a sip of water, and then later I'll get to your ear cuppies. Oh, thank you for requesting it, my darling. <laughs> I'm glad you guys are enjoying the stream, though. And you guys can relax a little bit. I know for some of you it's been a really long week. So I hope that this helps a little bit. <sighs> Alright, Laid. Here's your ear cuppings. I hope you enjoyed your ear cuppies. <laughs> no, thank you for requesting it. I appreciate you. <laughs> some noises just hit different. And some noises are really relaxing for some people. And some don't quite hit that spot for others, but that's okay. I'm trying to have something for everybody here. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> oh, 
I'm so glad. I'm glad that you can feel relaxed around me. And that's ultimately what I want for you. I want you to just melt and feel at ease. It's been a long week. You only have one more day to go. And then it's the weekend. And you can maybe take a break. Mm. <laughs> Mehmet, are you still here? Because I owe you a good bet. <laughs> oh, you're still here? Good. It's good to see you. All right, Mehmet. Mm. Oh, Mehmet. You're such a good pet. Look at you. All mine. My good little pet. Oh, you're so sweet. My good little pet. You know that you belong to me, don't you, Mehmet? My good little pet. Mm? I bet you'd love to be collared, too, my good pet. Mm-hmm. Look at that smile I bet you have on your face right now. It's so cute. I could just kiss you, my good little pet. <coughs> Such a good pet. <laughs> How did that make you feel, Mehmet? Mm? <laughs> oh, you're so cute. <laughs> All of you are adorable. I love your reactions. They just make me smile. <sighs> Gallus Gamer. Are you still here, my darling? You're not adorable. Would you prefer I call you something else? Like mine. <laughs> You're here. Okay, good. Well, I owe you just gallows. Okay, that's fair. Gallows. I love you. You know, you've been here quite a while with me. I can't thank you enough. I love you. <laughs> oh, I love you so much, Gallows. I love you. You're so sweet. And you're so cute. You mean the world to me. I love you. I love you so much. Thank you for always supporting me and being here with me, Gallows. I love you. I love you. I love you. Mwah. <laughs> oh. You wish you could always interact with the community. Oh, thank you. I try my best, and I just appreciate you guys hanging out with me. No, thank you. It really means the world to me that you guys come and hang out, and whether it's I'm doing this kind of a stream, or the naughtier streams on that other platform, or even just being chaotic and gremlin-like. <laughs> 
Red Angel, thank you so much for the five gifted. You get to pick from the menu. <laughs> so just let the mods know what you like. If you get a gifted sub, please thank Red Angel. How do you find that other platform? Well, if you go into my socials, there's a card. And if you open the card... Well, there you go. Zola just did it. You click there, you click the card. It's pretty obvious what that other one is. <laughs> so if you like that content, it's there. It's very sweet of you to say that, Mehmet. Alright. I owe innocent bystanders some lotion. So let's get some, let's get some lotion here. Innocent, are you still here, my darling? Alexia, thank you so much for the raid. Mm, welcome, raiders. We're just doing some ASMR tonight. I appreciate you being here. I hope you had a great stream. <laughs> Lotion. Yeah. All right. It's lotion time. Just hit the mic, I was trying to get more lotion. your lotion innocent bystander <laughs> I hope
hope you're still okay and uh, not completely melted for me. <laughs> Everybody has, yeah, if you, if you don't like certain sounds, you can mute the stream for those, like, three minutes. I don't take offense to it, because some noises are not for everybody. <laughs> so it's completely okay. <gasps> oh. Oh, you see what's next in the queue. Mm. I wonder, I wonder, good little buff pet. <laughs> Gosh, I wonder who could have requested that. Mm, so odd. <laughs> Kono. It's crazy. It's almost like... There's this guy that I know that's really, really buff and that, like, picked me up at TwitchCon and bought me all these drinks and was super, super sweet and kind to me. His name was Kono, too. That's such a coincidence. Gosh. How odd. Oh, please. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't break your back. <laughs> You're very sweet, though. But are you ready, my good little buff pet? <laughs> You're ready. Oh, Kono. You're my good little buff pet. You're so incredibly sweet. My good little buff pet. Oh, I can't wait to see you again and wrap my arms around you and feel those muscles. My good little buff pet. Oh, look at you. My sweetheart, I'm going to keep you forever. My good little buff pet. <sighs> oh, you're perfect just the way you are, my good little buff pet. But if you want to continue to improve, I won't say no. My good little buff pet. I want you to be a puddle for me, my good little buff pet. You're so incredibly handsome, my good little buff pet. <laughs> oh... You're always a decent snack for me, my good little buff pet. You're just so perfect, I can't get enough of you, my good little buff pet. You know, you message me and it makes me smile so much, because you're always so kind. And so thoughtful, my good little buff pet. You are such a sweetheart and a wonderful mod and an even better friend, my good little buff pet. <laughs> I really, really can't wait to wrap my tail around you and squeeze you so tightly against me, my 
good little buff that you know you're all mine my good little buff that <laughs> How is that for you, Kona? Oh, you don't have to thank me. Thank you for requesting it. You're very, very sweet. <laughs> I think I owe Red Angel some ear cuppies, too. Red Angel. <laughs> Are you still here, my darling? Life's going quite well. Thank you for asking. I'm still here. That's kind of all I can ask for. My kids are healthy and happy. You know? I'm getting through all the stuff I'm getting through. And I get to spend time with all of you. And that's what really makes me smile. And really means the most to me. So I have a lot to be thankful for. Lasu, hi, how are you? I'm doing quite well. So all things considered, you know. I'm doing awesome. I, think, I appreciate you guys asking, though. Alright, Red Angel, if you're still here. Here's your ear cuppies.
There's your ear cupping, Red Angel. <laughs> Squid, thank you for the gifted sub. And Papa, thank you for the gifted subs. You did not have to do that. Because I know how much you uh, hate ASMR. <laughs> I appreciate you, though. You're very sweet. I hope you had a good stream earlier today. <laughs> and I think you were doing a collab, too. Weren't you? You were doing some magic stuff. I hope that went well. <laughs> Virus, thank you so much for the gifted sub, too. It's very kind of you. <laughs> uh. Alright, I think I owe. You did, you did. Squid has the vote for the next ASMR. I love you too. I will talk to you later because I know you've had a long day. I know you've been streaming for longer and stuff. If you haven't supported Papa Mutt yet, please do me a favor and go follow Papa Mutt and go give him all the love and support that you would give to me because he's such a sweet being. And he always goes the extra mile for me. So now you have to go and give him some love and support. Because I told you to. Or else I won't collar you and put you on your knees and tell you that you're a good girl or a good boy. And I don't want to be angry with you. I'm not going to collar you unless you go and support him. my tit just pulled out the fucking mic cord <laughs> I love how Zolan knew he fucking knew he's like did you just tit the mic cord yeah I did I can't help it I fucking felt it listen my tits are huge they're right up against the mic and right up against the cord. As soon as I fucking move, my tits will just pull the cord out. <laughs> what do you want from me? <laughs> I'm trying my best over here, guys. I'm trying my fucking best, all right? The best kind of scuffle, like, come on. If you know, you know, right? I had to give you guys a little bit of a fucking jump scare. Uh, uh, the hazards of large titties is true. Alright. Well, lockdown. If you're still here, you get three minutes of ear blowing. <laughs> so here we go.
And there you go, locked down. Did you like that ear blowing? <laughs> Some people like it. No, thank you. <laughs> I appreciate you being here. It's a bit of a different sound. I realize it's not for everyone out here, but hey. Some people like it. Mm. Well, thank you, Lockdown. That's very sweet of you. As long as I can make you guys smile, then I've done my job. I'm going to take a sip of water. <clears throat> All right, Realm Wars. Are you still here? <laughs> I owe you some good pets. <sighs> You're here? Good. <gasps> oh, Realm Wars. <gasps> You're such a good pet. Do you want to be mommy's good pet? <sighs> Look at you. So cute. My good little pet. <gasps> mm, would you like to be called my good little pet? Would you like it if I got so? And told you how wonderful you are, my good pet. <gasps> You're all mine, you know, my good pet. <gasps> you belong to me, my good pet. <laughs> <gasps> Did you enjoy that, Realm Morse? <sighs> Being my good pet. <laughs> <sighs> I hope you did. Uh, oh, it's no problem, my darling. You're very, very sweet to be here. <laughs> I see that Papa Mutt left this up to me, too. So. Hmm. I wonder which one I should pick. I'm wondering if I should pick one that we haven't done before. Something a little bit different. And you guys can let me know if you like it. Like maybe, maybe we can do, maybe we can do scissors. Scissor snipping. It's like getting a haircut. <laughs> so why don't we do that? Why don't we try the scissor snipping? See if you guys like that.
There. <laughs> Did you enjoy your haircut? <laughs> it's kind of an interesting sound. I have to see if I can find my pom-pom, because I used to have a pom-pom that sounded like trees rustling when you put it against the ASMR mic. <laughs> Just the right amount of the top. <gasps> it was so nice. It was like a little tiny pom-pom, and it sounded like... <laughs> it sounded like trees rustling in the breeze. <laughs> I'll have to see if I can find it. <laughs> okay. Dead old school kid. I owe you and I love you. And Sly Doctor, thank you for 13 months. Lady Yuri, thank you for the five gifted subs, too. If you get a gifted sub, please thank Lady Yuri. He's very kind of you. Very sweet. Thank you so much. Mm. Mm. All right. Dead old school kid. Mm. I love you. I love you so much. You know, you've been a part of my community for a long time. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. You're the sweetest bee. I love you, that old school kid. I love you so much. You're always so kind and so thoughtful. I love you. Mm -hmm. You're all mine, too. I love you. You're my perfect little pet. I love you. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that, my sweet. <laughs> oh. I'm going to have another drink of water here. Oh, thank you. I appreciate you being here. I appreciate all you being here. I know that we don't do ASMR like all that often, but it's for me to tell you guys I appreciate you. Mm. And Lady Yuri, you want pen and paper. Mm. No, thank you. I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. That means a lot to me. ASMR is a little bit of a different vibe, and I realize it's not for everybody. But it allows me to be a much more intimate with you. <laughs> All right, Lady Yuri. You get three minutes of pen and paper.
you guys like that one. I don't know if we've done that one in a while. It's been a it's been a long time since we've done bed and paper, I think. <laughs> I don't know if we have either. <laughs> Zolan, if you're listening to um the mods are trying to get your attention in the moderation discussion. <laughs> if you're still listening. He might be distracted. He might be a puddle too. <laughs> he's uh he's too busy trying to reform himself. Oh, you were listening, okay. He's being encrypted. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I owe Sora three minutes of good bed. Mm. Are you ready, Sora? The most relaxed you've ever been. Mm. That's what I like to hear. All right, Sora. <gasps> You're such a good pet. <gasps> Look at you. You sweet little thing. <gasps> You're such a good pet. Mm. I bet you probably want to be collared, too. My good pet. Oh, such a pretty little thing you are. My good pet. Oh, you do? That's what I like to hear. My good pet. I love it when they listen to me. <laughs> You're so cute, my good pet. I would love to just wrap my coils around you and squeeze you so tightly against me, my good pet. Oh, look at you with that beautiful smile on your face. My good pet. <laughs> oh, I could just lick you with my long snake tongue, my good little pet. I bet you taste delicious. Mm. I can't wait for you to be all mine, my good pet. Oh, my good, good pet. I love seeing your name in my chat and in my Discord. It makes me feel so good, my good pet. Oh, I bet you would just love it if I put my finger right under your chin and forced you to look at me with those beautiful eyes of yours, my good. I'm so happy that you're mine, my good pet. <laughs> How was that, Sora? Do you like being my good pet? <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> Uh, 
And I think I owe innocent bystander a good pet too. <laughs> no, thank you. I do appreciate you being here. Innocent bystander, my darling. <laughs> Are you still here? Uh, oh, I love it when you squirm for me. My good pet. Look at you. Writhing there. Just begging for me. Like a good pet. You're positively perfect. My good pet. I love seeing you in my chat, squealing, and being such a good pet for me. Oh, you make me smile so much, my good. I can't wait to give you a giant crushing hug again, my good pet. You're positively perfect, innocent, my good pet. <laughs> Are you okay, Eep? <laughs> I'm gonna assume that you made it out alive. Or you've joined the collective bucket. <laughs> oh. Yeah, from the bucket, you're good. Okay, good. <sighs> so I was thinking, chat. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think we read that last script? Hmm? What do you think? The sleep demon one. You don't know. Hmm? Now you want to go in the bucket. Mom, I want to go in the bucket. <laughs> All right. Give me a second to move some things around here. Mm. And this one is called... <clears throat> This one is called Sleep Demon Tempts You Into Bed. <laughs> so it starts. The evening sky is beginning to drench dark with night, and yet you refuse to go to bed. Mm. Close to your ear, you hear a disappointed sigh. <sighs> Dearest human, why are you still awake? It's well past a reasonable hour, and you know too well that you need to rest. <laughs> More than that, you need to come to bed so that I might spend the night with you. Mm. Ah. That seems to send a shiver down your spine, doesn't it? 
<laughs> Are you really ready to come find me again? To find your way into my embrace? Mm. Come now, my dear human. I've missed you so much through today. And I hate that you still have yet to come see me. The only time I can reach you with more than my voice is in your dreams. And yet, you still refuse to close your eyes and allow me to finally have you. You spend hours staring at those screens and working when you should be resting. You stress yourself until you fray at the edges and then continue to stress yourself out more. My dear, your mind needs rest. You need rest. Just as much rest as you need. <laughs> and you're not going to provide it to yourself. Then you should allow me to provide it to you. My dear, your mind need rest too. <laughs> oh, but I can see the way your fingers hesitate. My words have caught your ear like a melody. And now they've tainted your thoughts. Mm. It's a tempting idea, is it not? To allow me to spoil your weary mind and body. <laughs> oh, but it could be more than a tempting thought, my dear. I could bring you to euphoria, allowing you to relax and rest against me. You know the feel of my skin against yours. Imagine it now. My hands running over your back. My nails softly tracing over your skin in those nonsensical swirling patterns that you love to get lost in. My lips against the shell of your ear whispering sweet nothings against your skin that calm you like waves against the shore. My chest rising and falling in a hypnotic rhythm under your hand. It sounds like Certainly to me, at least. And given from the way your eyes have fallen shut at my musings, I would hazard a guess that it sounds heavenly to you as well. <laughs> Teasing you. Oh, dearest human. I would never tease you in such a way. I want nothing more 
than to bring you peace. Though I won't deny that I may have my own motivations for my persistent urging you to go to bed. Mm. Indeed. You know that already, though, don't you? I can tell from that knowing smirk. So wicked. And yet, so inviting. Mm. Well, if I must admit to my own motivations to get you to come to bed with me, then I'll tell you each and Everyone. Firstly, I'd like to have the pleasure of seeing you again. As lovely as it is to be able to whisper in your ear. I can only see you when I'm in your dreams. And I do so greatly enjoy being able to see the surprise on your cute face when I pull you close. <laughs> Not to mention that soft smile that you give <laughs> after we kiss. Which leads me to the second reason that I must continue to urge you to sleep. I want to kiss you again. More than that, I desire it. Crave it. With a hunger that knows not how to let me rest. The way your lips feel against mine. How you press yourself into my touch. The way you whisper my name as I lay your head on my shoulder when we've finally kissed each other breathless. Mm. The final reason is that because when you are asleep, I know that I'm the one to have to give you in my embrace. You belong to me and to no other. When you are with me, no other human can try to seduce you and steal you away from me. Mm. Mm. When you find me in your dreams, I know it's because you choose to find me, and you are mine. <sighs> I know that I have your heart more than any other human or demon, just as you have mine. And I will not allow you to take your heart back and give it to anyone else. You promise, do you? But you seem so devoted to those screams, to the messages that you read, and the voices that you hear from them. Ah. <sighs> Then prove it to me, my dear human. Come to bed with me. Let me have you for myself. Give yourself to me, and I will give you heaven in return. <laughs> What's this? Have I finally convinced you to come to bed? 
Excellent. It's good to know my words have such a strong effect on you. Fine. I shall speak no more on how adorable I find it that I can charm you with honeyed words, or how I plan to do so many more times in the future. <laughs> oh, please, my dearest, don't get so riled up at my teasing. Hmm. I finally convinced you to come to bed. It would not do any good for you to get stuck in your anger. I would hate for your agitation to keep you awake. Especially since we both know that you actually enjoy the way I tease you. Oh. What a cute little scowl. Though I will admit that I prefer when you're smiling at me in that sweet way that you do. Mm. So please, lay down in your bed and wrap yourself in blankets and allow me to earn that enchanting smile of yours. Ah, ah, yes, good, just like that. Now listen to my voice and let your eyes slowly close. Feel your breathing, even out as my voice grows clearer, closer. Rest your mind, picture nothing but me, laying beside you. Now take a deep breath in. Let it fill your lungs. And as you breathe out, open your eyes again. <laughs> Hello, my dearest love. It's been far too long. Mm. Yes. I know that it's only been since this morning since I've seen you, but hell is such a boring place to spend these days. I'd much rather spend my time in your bed. Now come here. I'm getting tired of waiting. I want you back in my arms. Mm -hmm. There we are. It feels so good to have you in my arms again. Am I warm enough for you, my dear human? Good. I'm pleased to hear it. Come here. Wrap your arms around me so that I can warm you up even more. Mm. <laughs> oh, a kiss. Oh, that caught me quite off guard. I'll admit that I only had intended to invite you to cuddle. Mm. Cuddle into my neck, as I know you love to do. However, I'm not objecting to your kisses in the least. <laughs> no, no, my dear. Don't start getting embarrassed now. It was a surprise, yes, but a welcome one. One I'm very eager to repeat. 
Kiss me again, my dear. I've missed the feeling far too much. the feeling of my hand on your waist draw that enticing shiver from you. How adorable. <laughs> Perhaps I should use my other hand to hold your face, since I know that you practically purr at the feeling of my thumb brushing over your cheek. Oh. Hmm. You like the sound of that, don't you? Then come closer, my dear, and allow me to feel the warmth of your skin against my palm. <laughs> ah, there's that lovely smile, so sweet, and only for me. You truly are a treasure, my dearest. One that I shall keep all to myself. I've missed you, my dear. A day feels like an eternity when I'm not at your side. And the moments we are together are far too fleeting. I could hold on to you forever. Should the universe allow it. <sighs> I wish I could be with you for every moment of our lives. It is my only greatest wish. Hmm. You're right, dearest. Of course you are. I should not linger on thoughts of despair when I have you with me. I should instead pester you to share your lips with me again so that might, I might know the taste of the ambrosia and the bliss that your mouth holds. Every last bit of you. I swore it when I first saw you, and I will swear it again until the end of time. I only wish that you would realize how much of a treasure you are, and take better care of yourself accordingly. Mm. Mm. I know my love. But I love you too much not to say it. You need to sleep more. And not just so that you might see me again. You need your rest so that you don't collapse in on yourself. Like you have many times before. Hmm. If the only way I can get you to sleep is to seduce you into your bed, then I will gladly do so. <clears throat> of course, gladly. Now come closer and lay your head on my chest. Let me hold you close so that I can whisper stories 
and sweet nothings for you to enjoy while you regain your energy. <laughs> That's very considerate of you, love. Hmm. But if I were to receive as many kisses as I need from you, you wouldn't get any rest at all. For now, just rest in my arms and let me enjoy being in your presence again. <laughs> mm. Well, since you insist, I suppose that you can steal more kisses, should you wish to. But, only so long as you're trying your best to rest and recover, too. Yes, you promise. Good. Then kiss me to your heart's content, and I shall keep you safe as you sleep. so much. Sleep well. I shall be here the entire night. <laughs> and there you have it, Chad. Did you enjoy me being your sleep paralysis demon. <laughs> yes, you did, huh? Did you enjoy the kisses? <laughs> Lucky Luke, thank you for the hundred bits, by the way. I was just in the middle of a script. I think we got a raid, too. Salazia Greenwood, thank you so much for the raid if you're still here. And welcome raiders from that raid if you're still here. We were just in the middle of an RP script. I appreciate the raid. And I hope you had a good stream. That was amazing. I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. So those are the two scripts that I picked out for tonight. I wanted you guys to be very, very relaxed for me. I made you melt twice. Well, that's good. I want you to melt for me. <laughs> Are those commissions? No, actually, you can find ASMR scripts that people write on, I believe it's called, hold on, ASMR Script Haven on Reddit. People post their ASMR scripts that are for free. And sometimes I go through there and I try to find the interesting ones that you guys might like. <laughs> and they're fun to do. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. It's Script Haven, ASMR Script Haven. That's what it is. Oh, well, thank you guys. I really appreciate you being here with me. And I hope you enjoyed ASMR. <laughs> So I'm going to try to do this like once a month for you guys. 
because I think it's fun. And I want to say thank you to everybody who redeemed things on the menu. And I really appreciate you guys just being here. <laughs> oh, you guys are sweet. Only once a month. Well, maybe we'll see. We'll see if you guys are good. <laughs> maybe we'll do more. But at least there'll be a VOD this time because it, hopefully it, uh, Zolan said he fixed it. So, uh, so Zolan said he fixed it so there should be a VOD this time. Hi, Cozy, how are you? I want to say thank you guys for hanging out with me. And for those of you who don't know, tomorrow we're going to be hanging out in my Discord. And we're going to watch uh, the Gamer Awards. The Game Her Awards. I'm up for three awards tomorrow. So we're going to have a bit of a Discord party. And we're going to watch them. So I hope you guys hang out with me tomorrow. It's a bit of a different vibe when I'm hanging out with you guys in Discord. I believe it starts at 5 p.m. Eastern, so I think we're going to start hanging out around 4. And for me, it's it's a, it's a bit of a different vibe because obviously I'm not streaming. You get to hear me just kind of shooting the shit and like hanging out. Um, I'm not entertaining at that point, so you get to be a more of a relaxed... Vexoria. And the worst case scenario, yes, we can watch Bluey <laughs> while we're waiting. <laughs> it's a bit of a long show, so I hope you guys hang out. <laughs> we'll watch some fucking Bluey. <laughs> no, it's at, I believe it starts at 5 p.m. Eastern. So. There you go, Zolan posted the links there. And if you do exclamation point Discord, then uh, you can get into my Discord and hang out tomorrow with me. Yes, it's, it's Eastern, 5 p.m. Eastern. I appreciate it. <clears throat> so who should we go and say hi to? I'm thinking we should go get our girl. We should go get our girl Tricky. What do you guys think? I have no idea. Oh, she's with Cinder, I think. Maybe? No, she's watching clips right now. She's just chatting. Okay. We should go say... Hello to our good girl, Tricky. What do you think? Should we make it a fun raid message, too? Should we make it a fun raid message? Mm. I don't know. Maybe we should make it something like... Mmm. Sexy snake ASMR raid. Maybe we could make it like, uh, Snake loves her good girl. There you go. Let's see if we can break Tricky. <laughs> Let's see if we can break Tricky with that. Hopefully we do. So let's go raid Tricky. Tricky is loud, so we're going to do a bit of a shift here, all right? Tricky's a very uh, loud streamer, but she's very sweet, and I love the shit out of her. <laughs> I hope you guys have a wonderful night. This was a lot of fun for me. I love you guys very much, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye for now. Mm -hmm.